Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So last episode what we worked on was we got a mine set up in the hills over there. So we got a copper mine, level C, and there is a oxygen mine not too far away over on that part. Uh, we still need to make it, but uh, we should have the resources that we need to actually do that now. So. Um, I do have a little bit of copper uh, on us, but we can get a lot more if we don't have enough. Um, as far as other resources, I'm going to have to recalculate everything <laughs> uh, to get the exact values that I want for the storage. Like, we're probably going to want a couple supply depots, um, which are 10 metal plates, so I'll have to purchase those from up above. And then we're going to need a gas extractor, so that's going to cost um, five additional plates. So that's like 25, and then we need a couple solar panels to po power that. So we're looking at 27 plates and about 60 gold and a whole bunch of other resources that we're going to need for all that. But um, when we get the resources all kind of figured out and stuff like that, we'll be able to... Um, Put that in our um, exocraft and head on over there and start setting that up. Uh, we also need more chromatic metal for the, um, what do you call it, the uh, base, base computer as well. We're going to need one of those at that location as well. So it just takes a little bit of time converting everything over to um, something that we can actually use but it, it saves multiple trips too right so it just takes a little bit of time calculating it all I'll do that in the time lapse and then you don't have to worry about that but um, okay we got four nip nip bulbs we got some of these and the other components we can craft one of those up put that in here for now and that in there. Uh, we should probably start expanding our base a little bit more too. I'm not sure if we can grow... Yeah, we can grow these, which we need for that. And we need more um, star bulbs as well. But we need a second level in order to do that because we're, we're pretty much full on room for the bottom floor. And I want to still add decorations and stuff after we get a little bit more decorations unlocked. So, it's, I want to leave a little bit of room for all that too, right? So I'm trying to kind of plan everything out. Thank you. 
right, so I got the uh, oxygen farm all set up. It's uh, started to produce oxygen, so we'll be able to get a total of 2,500 roughly per day. So um, that's um, how much time I actually do between recordings, so like roughly. Um, I don't do record on Wednesdays or the weekend, but... Um, every other day it should have a full capacity of that whenever we need it so uh, that's good let's go ahead up the hill and we'll get um, our copper from there uh, that should be full up already so we'll be able to get a little bit of um, resources from that I think I actually see where I came down the hill that time Just straight down this path <laughs> There's a cave there too, we might want to check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out. Yep, we got 250 copper, or 2,250. So we'll grab that, that will give us a few stacks of that. All right, so let's go ahead and check out that cave, see if there's any of those creatures in there. What an entrance. Okay, there is a few creatures that we haven't scanned yet. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, that's one of the creatures that we need. We just have one more that we need to find. So, uh, it doesn't look like this is a huge cave, so... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much anywhere to go from here. All right. Oh, that's not good. I just love the terrain tool. You're just like, yep, nope, not today. Okay, so we got one creature of the, um, what do you call it? A few that we needed, so there's just one left. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find that today or if we should do something else. Um, I do need to take this stuff back to the base though, so we'll do that now. Can't remember how I was getting through here. This way. Very uneven terrain here. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go back here and then we'll um, figure out what we'll do next. So, park that. Alright, so I met, um, who was it? Apollo, I think it was? Uh, basically Artemis was saying Apollo's name, I believe, at the last moment before, um, he was attacked by something or other, but, um, I ended up going to the little broadcast place and we were able to, um, talk to Apollo. 
which gave us blueprints to a construction terminal and we're going to need to upgrade our uh, base by adding one of these so we're going to need 25 ferrite and 40 chromatic metal which shouldn't be a problem now because I've been refining chromatic metal down so uh, we'll put the put 250 more into the refiner we'll grab what we have from it and then we can start working on that I'm not sure we're going to we're, we're gonna actually put it um, haven't really figured that part out just yet. We might put it... Yeah, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> we might put it over here, maybe. Maybe in this corner, or right up against that wall, maybe. Because um, this is the main entrance, right? So... Yeah, we could do that, maybe. Alright, so we're gonna need... Metal, and... Chromatic metal. So we got that part. We can start refining that some more of that chromatic or copper that we got so we'll put that in here and pure ferrite we need 25 of that so we'll grab 50 divide that there we go and yeah I think I'll put it right over here right underneath the light we should be able to change the color of this one too I'm not sure if we can fit that right between the light, just so it looks a little good. We'll go with the red color. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, that works. Closest we're going to get, I think, but to the wall, but, you know should work pretty good yeah it's pretty even I think that will work um, okay what's next to do there was something else that we needed to do for that so expand the base hire an overseer so we're gonna need to go to oh shoot what was that station called oh, it was one of the stations that we needed to call uh, go void void something or other So I started working on the base a little bit more. We got a little bit of an upper floor. I've expanded it out just a little bit. Um, kind of like a half a block 
out. So as you can see, it's there's kind of like this little um, ledge there. So that's on purpose. Uh, so we can kind of get like a modern style building going on. Um, there's still quite a bit of the building that I still need to figure out and where I'm going to be putting everything and everything like that. But uh, I figure with the size of our base, we'll be able to put an entire upper floor kind of expanded out a little bit more. And we'll see how that turns out and stuff. But, um, yeah, outside of that, it's just tinkering and stuff like that. I also installed a lower floor over here. So this will go down to the science place. If I had it on the same level, the top of the science thing would go through the floor. So I dropped it down a floor just so it would be a little bit um, neater on the second floor and stuff like that. Uh, off planet, we still need to go and collect a scientist for our research or science terminal. But um, and then we got some missions that we need to do for the Gek as well. So we'll be doing all that uh, next episode. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.